From St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Our celebrant today is the Auxiliary Bishop of Toronto, the Most Reverend Peter Hunt. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first is an anonymous donor from Saint Laurent, Quebec, who asks for prayers for her husband. The second are members of the Catholic Women's League of Saints Joachim and Anne Parish in Alder Grove, British Columbia. And they offer this Mass for the deceased members of the Catholic Women's League, for our Canadian troops, and for all our priests. The third donor is Carmine Miranda of Edmonton, Alberta, and she is praying for the living and deceased members of her family and for the return of a family member to his faith. Our thanks to all our donors for the gifts of this Mass. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And also with you. In today's responsorial psalm, the Lord assures us that he never forgets his people, that he is always with them. We come together as people of faith, celebrating God's presence and love among us. Lord Jesus, you came among us to share with us the love of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you gave your very life upon the cross for our salvation. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us your body and blood in the Eucharist to nourish us on our journey to your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you gave St. Camillus a special love for the sick, through his prayers, inspire us with your grace, so that by serving you and our brothers and sisters, we may come safely to you at the end of our lives. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Ah. Assyria, the rod of my anger, the club in their hands is my fury. Against a godless nation I sent him, and against the people of my wrath I command him to take toil and seize plunder, and to tread them down like the mirror of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind, but he in his heart to destroy and to cut off nations not a few. For the Lord says, by the strength of my hand I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I have understanding. I have removed the boundaries of the people and have plundered their treasures. Like a bull, I have brought down those who sat on thrones. My hand has found, like a nest, the wealth of the peoples. And as one gathers eggs that has been forsaken, so I have gathered all the earth, and there was none that moved a wing, or opened its mouth, or chirped. Shall the axe vault itself over the one who wields it, or the saw magnify itself against the one who handles it, as if a rod should raise the one who lifts it up, or as if a staff should lift the one who is not wood? Therefore the Sovereign, the Lord of hosts, will send a wasting sickness among his stout warriors, and under his glory a burning will be kindled, like the burning of a fire. The Word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to Lord. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise 